Hey guys! <laughs> so tonight I'm a little bit nervous because I literally just trying to um, put this together and I haven't figured out how to exactly make the dress. And tonight I'm gonna do the dress if you look at on my webs um, on my page. Uh, that you see I'm gonna try to attempt to make the Grammy dress of uh, Cardi B, the rapper who wear them with um, the angel dress. Okay, so we're gonna try to do that tonight, but I'm gonna show you this is what we did last week with the uh, plastic uh, bag. And if you haven't watched the show before, the show is basically called Wine and Craft. And every week I do a wine tasting of an inexpensive bottle of wine. So tonight we do a this bottle here is from Italy, and it actually uh, is from Sicily, Italy. It actually is a signature wine, red wine from Italy, and this one costs nine ten dollar Canadian. So it has supposed to be a, a really nice red. Uh, red. So just gonna open them and let it air for a little while while I'm telling you about the show. So if you don't know about the show, so. Basically, I'm just gonna upcycle the whole idea is to create sustainable uh, living um, products. So you find stuff around the home and I just basically make them into something that uh, you haven't seen. Um, create a new look to it. So last week we make our dress out of literally plastic bags. So we make them into this. So this week, so this was a skirt and then I just add a little wrap around it and just basically a tie piece of fabric and then loose it up it was a knot on from the back here and then it turned into a skirt and now we're gonna put it aside so this week what are we gonna do is I'm gonna take a t-shirt so this is an old t-shirt that have stain on them. So I'm just gonna put over the mannequin now. So this is my old t-shirt. And while I do this, if you want, you can go get a drink for yourself. And every time I mention the word wine or take a zip, you should also try and take a zip yourself. So there you go. So this is just a simple t-shirt. I'm gonna do put this aside for now and we're gonna tr attempt to make that dress. So if you also want, you can leave, uh, get on the, um, the video page. So if you click right on the video, you're gonna see, um, see you can leave comment and actually can have live interaction with you. I'm um, just gonna reboot my computer and so I can see what you're doing. So to drink wine, so with the red, we want it to air a little bit so you're gonna pour a little bit of wine and there are five points that you want to pay attention while you're drinking wine so basically kind of like a tasting note test so the first one of course you want to smell it to see if it, you know how you like the smell and it's also a good indication before you taste it in case the wine went bad drinking the process and you don't want to drink like you know salary uh, wine unless you know that's what you're into but so we're just gonna have a taste mmm so it's have a nice aroma and I can smell like a dark berry in here so the color is quite beautiful if you can see right so I'm also live on um, Instagram as well so I should turn that on do that so, and we're gonna have a taste. Mmm. It has a nice velvety taste afterward. Um, I can definitely taste some berry in there. What I'll do. It has a, a caramel burnt sugar taste to it as well. And... Hmm. So, that's what I have for now. 
and I'm all set on Facebook so I can if you want to leave me a message I can probably see it if my computer doesn't close up so let's get started so as you can see it um, the dress is quite elaborate so the whole idea is it have wing coming out here and then it have kind of a trail going back all the way so I think the two section to this the first is the top and then she have a skirt on top of it and add volume to it so we can do a uh, two different version um a little more something that you can wear instead of too grammy ish so what we can do is i'm gonna take this and i'm gonna drape around and add and then we're gonna create wing out of extra fabric or this is an old bed sheet that I have, so I might use it. And the other thing I have in mind is I'm gonna use bubble wrap. So we have a lot of bubble wrap, and a lot of us now are buying stuff from Amazon, and we have buy product that we don't use. So this, I'm gonna use it underneath to create the form for the dress, and that's pretty much it. So we're gonna start by cutting this down, which I not set up today, so I'm gonna get the scissor. So in case you're wondering, I didn't really know, um, have an idea of what I wanted to do tonight. So basically about two hours ago, somebody sent me a message. And uh, hi there on Instagram. and. Uh, tell me why don't I make this dress? I say, well, why not? And let's see how I'm gonna make it happen. Mm. So it's also have, I taste vanilla in this as well. So the dress is look like it's a V-neck, right? So we're gonna just drop this right down into around the chest bust area and we're just gonna tuck this in and we could just glue that down or we can just completely trim this so I think we're just gonna trim it and I think the back is a low cut as well so let me yeah it's all the way down so so I think the back is all the way like this. So I just draw them with my scissor. You can do that with your pen and just gonna cut right onto it. And then I think I'm gonna cut from here into the V neck. Oh, I should turn this around so you can see what we do. So we have a little shoulder on top, so I'm gonna get some um, pen to, to pin it, keep it there. This is below the bust line, so if you're gonna wear a, uh, you can also do a little bit higher or lower. So I'm just gonna follow what the dress show. So we got this. So this is just a little bit of the on the shoulder. Just gonna pin this down, so it's gonna stay here while we play with it. All right. So the first order is I'm gonna take this. And I'm going to use it to create an illusion here. So the bubble is great. So we're going to go from here all the way. 
and then we're gonna follow the sleeve like so and then take from the sleeve and go to the back if I'm not mistaken that how her dress is so we're gonna do that so you gonna fold this in and I'm gonna also take another piece of fabric so so this will be covered up in fabric so I'm gonna just slide this old bed sheet up Tear it down. And it's gonna be like so, right? And so I'm gonna start from here, so right in the center. But before we do that, we might want to have this a little bit tighter. So I'm just gonna tuck this in on the side. So make a little pleat to glue that down. Open here. And we're just gonna pleat that down into the pointy of your bus. Same on this side. Put this down and we're gonna do the same thing for the back. And I think I want to do a little more creative stuff, so it's gonna be like a V on the back, like so. So while I'm tucking this in, you're gonna fold that up. And all this is gonna be hidden under a layer of, uh, of fabric anyhow, so the bottom part gonna be fine. So when using this, have a lining. Ooh, don't burn myself. And cheers to everyone. Hey Shay, how you doing darling? <laughs> so, if you, on Instagram, Shay is the one who sent me a message and told me this is what I should be making. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna, it's gonna turn out, but it could be fabulous like last week with the garbage bag dress or it could be completely disaster like. And we want to make sure this have a little tuck in. So I'm gonna do a little bit more on the top here. There you go. So if you have an opening and it's kind of loose like we did before, you want to make sure to create a dot. So just so about, I would say, about two three centimeter uh two three milliliter and then so that would tuck in you know the fluffiness of your opening mm, this is actually quite a wonderful wine so it have a really nice easy velvety uh aftertaste to it as well <laughs> and let's see So, before we start, oh, I need two of these pieces, so let's see if one is enough. Test here, and go back. So, I need two pieces about the same length, so I'm just gonna rip another piece up. Okay, here we are. And I'm gonna turn down the volume. Yep. All right, so let's start from the front. So it goes straight down to the front. actually a, look like a fun dress so so I'm gonna just basically line along the front here and I'm just gonna glue that down so I'm gonna go past the waist a little bit um, 
it look like so so I'm just gonna glue that down and so along the center front here we're gonna glue down the edge of the fabric and then we're gonna add the bubble wrap in behind it to keep it form but we need to actually get the fabric in the front first now all this can be hand stitches later on so the glue gun can act as a a base seam right so from here it's gonna follow into the shoulder so you're gonna go here so I'm gonna have a fall here so you see I'm doing a fall over the bus area so and then uh, follow on right on to the sleeve I think yeah it's right on to the sleeve so we're just gonna glue all that in in and Whoa. warm and then follow that all the way into the back along the let me see what is happening here. Right. So follow the sleeve. So we're going to do the sleeve all the way. And then from there, we're going to go into, so bring it right across onto the onto the seam here. So we're gonna glue that down. So I'll extend it. So make sure you get the full length of the sleeve. Glue it down. And then to glue this down here. And from there, I believe, yeah, we pretty much got the forms figured out from here. I think this is just gonna go straight down like so. So we're gonna do that. So let this dry a little bit. And then I'm just gonna fold it up and then just go straight down into the center seam. So, what would this look like if it all stand up? So let's see. Let's apply this in. I think it looks pretty cool. Yeah, so I think this would work. So, let the, let the blue gun try for now. And then we're gonna do both sides. So we're gonna repeat. And we're gonna take this piece of fabric. We're gonna line it again. There, front here. So right into the center. So make sure those two fabric line up. And then I'm just gonna glue gun the whole thing down. There you go. And then we're gonna follow along the edge, cut across the sleeve, and go along the sleeve. I think that's what we did. Yeah, so we're gonna follow on the edge. And let's have a trick. Mm. Hey guys, how's it doing? Are you guys um 
Are you getting back in Toronto? All right. So from here, we're gonna go right across. And I believe I need to look at the picture at the same time. Uh, oh, hang on a second. I think we make a mistake. Could this supposed to be wrap? No, we, it was correct. All right, so we're gonna go across here. And I believe we make a fold to cross this over. And then we do a fold is here. Right in. And glue it in. It's a little bit awkward. I think we make a little mistake here, which is fine. And then the extra glue. Glue it down. So I'm gonna follow. I need a drink. Cheer. So. Here, so what we're gonna do is we're doing this again, so we're gonna follow the edge of the sleeve, I believe. I'm just looking at the picture. So we're going along the edge of the sleeve. Here. So right on the edge, put some glue. And then I'm going to gonna I kind of need an assistant to do this with because you need two people to, to hold everything. There. There you go. And we're going to glue this down here. So I hope you see it. And then I'm going to follow the sleeve all around and then we're gonna cut across like so into the edge of the opening so see so I'm gonna go from here right across There you go. All right, so this is a lot of work. I need a drink. Cheer. Mm. So let me tell you a little more about the wine. So this is you no know, in uh, Sicily. It's a really good base wine uh, from there, and is the type of it a plant, and it's have uh, oh wow the sugar content is quite high thirteen gram. Hey Maria, what are you drinking? Thank you, welcome. So we just have somebody on Facebook say hi. And she from Bellingham, WA. So somewhere in the US, I assume. All right, and now, so we're gonna go to this, and then we're gonna go along the line. So we're just gonna fold it like so. And 
a straight line all the way down in the center seam. So this is a little bit of a tight space, but it's all good. So we're gonna do a fold like so. So therefore it's gonna be like this. So everything I'm doing is kind of freehand. So this will be, so you see the two inch wing. Right, so I think that how the angel wing is. It, oh wow, here you go. We don't even need the, um, we just need to brush this up. So we don't even need that much uh, bubble wrap. So instead of using a big one, I have the small one here. So these are small bubble wrap as well. And I'm just gonna use them to put it in. Now, what's good about these bubble wrap is you can keep them. Uh, it's not strong enough. Alright, so go back to the So we're gonna put the bubble wrap just about here. We're gonna take this down right on along the edge, like so. Okay. I need some more glue gun. Whoa, that's hot. So all this can be done by base stitching where I do the glue gun. And then you can just sew it up afterwards. Um, since we're doing a show, we don't really have a lot of time. So this has to be and I think this is go all the way up and over like this. So I'm gonna go. Do you see that? There you go. Alright, so the, I think that looks great. And we're gonna follow this along the edge as well. So we're gonna glue down. So exactly where the fabric is, so now you're going to glue on the fabric near the edge of it. All the way back. And then from here, if I'm not mistaken, I just want to see how it's formed base. Go all the way like so along the fabric. And, ah, oh, the wine is good. Mm. So, where else are you guys been watching? So, we have somebody is WA in Birmingham. Is that in the US, Maria, or is that in um, London? So, we have somebody watching for in. Instagram, I think, I believe they're in Asia. And we have one in Toronto, which is the travel maker, I believe. <laughs> All right, cheer. So if you haven't watched the show before, and every time I drink, you should be drinking something just to cheer. And I also post what I would be tasting next week. So if you want, you can go get that wine and then we can have a taste together and see um, what you taste and what I imagine I taste and then we compare notes. So it wants to be all the way. So what other thing I'm thinking is it also, well, just let's do one side first. Move all the way down. And now, as you know that I'm not putting on the t-shirt, I'm putting on the fabric. So if you're sewing, 
So this would be your interface or your bowling. And I think this dress is actually with white bowling. And we're just gonna fold this up. Fold this up. And we're gonna do a print. There you go. So I think it's taking form. So I'm just gonna cut the plastic. So I'm gonna fold this down to the end. Like so. So I'm gonna glue it along the edge. the fabric on top of it and I think we got the angel wing just gonna tuck this in a little bit and then I'm gonna trim the bubble out so I'm gonna cut the bubble Fold that in. So it's easy. So we're just gonna tape along the edge, fold it in, and fold it in again. So basically, this is, would be just sewing area. So I'm just gonna glue around the edge of the fabric, and if you sew this, so you might want to do two side and then you just kind of sew everything in but since we're doing the show we only have about an hour that's not going to be possible there you go and then we're going to create a bus here i'm going to add a little detail and from here i believe it's going to go like so so I'm going to make sure I have enough fabric. Bubbles I'm going to cut along the edge. Here. All the way. So, when, my, when I got a message, I should do this dress tonight. Um, so she said, oh, uh, there's a singer, Car Carla Cardi B. And I said, who the hell is Cardi B? Apparently, she is trending uh, Twitter today, and she is having a baby tomorrow. Or on Saturday so I have no idea who it is but the dress looked interesting and it's challenging and I needed some inspiration because I didn't know what I was gonna do tonight I was originally just gonna paint a t-shirt and something that I can actually wear myself I've been doing a lot of uh, fantasy thing and I thought oh well why not I'm up for the challenge Never know how I'm gonna behave after half a bottle of wine. You can have the show. I could completely be a disaster, and it would be interesting for you to watch. No, seriously, but I think that the dress is actually it's um it looks very cool. So. Now let's give form to this. I'm just gonna glue this right down and it give us a nice pass area. So we're gonna glue it down on the side on both sides here and just so there you go. So we got this and I think this should be 
into the shoulder, like so. Cheer. And if you're wondering about the wine, it actually all the information I have it underneath the Facebook post video. So all the information on the wine and where you can get them in Canada, well in Toronto specifically, because in Canada we have um, different alcohol bore at in different province. So if you're watching this from abroad, it doesn't really make sense. But this is how kind of that function. So I'm just going to glue this leaf into the top here. And we got an angel one. There you go. So if you want, we can also do another layer for the lining, but we're just going to skip that for now. So this is without the bubble wrap. So you see one side nice and structured, and the other side is, well, flatty. And I kind of like, so I'm going to do her dress have a bust. So I'm going to do a little coupling underneath so to keep it a little more form to the bust. There we go. Put it in. And add a little more here. There we go. Look kind of cool, and if you want to see that repeat on this size, I believe I I'm going to turn this like so. So I'm gonna do like this, right? So I'm gonna glue this down on the edge of the fabric. So it's going to be faster this time because now we actually know what we're doing. And then from here, we're going to go over to the edge of the shoulder. Do this along the edge. And then I'm going to follow all the way to the back here. There you go. And move this along. Whoa, that's hot. Follow the line of the fabric. With the bubble wrap. All the way down the edge on the center. Kind of quite dangerous. And we're gonna flip the fabric over. Bring it back to the front. Wrap this here. And we're gonna cut the excess off. So we're gonna cut about half an inches. Away from the edge of the fabric, so we can pull the fabric in. There we go. 
and sometimes the glue gun doesn't really state, so you need to actually reapply. And I'm just gonna fold this in the edge like so. And we're just gonna glue that on to so basically we came in the wing. All this can be done by sewing as well. And you're gonna fold this like this so it's easy for me to do it. I believe we have to attach the shoulder in. So I'm gonna add a little bowling. But in craft, we're just gonna glue gun it up. There you go. Yep. And then we're just gonna do so. And then we've got the little wing area. So we're gonna glue, if you can see here, you're gonna basically tighten it in. Down. Need more glue. And there you go. Glue that up. So if you be sewing, you be basically do attaches this here. And then we turn it down to the back. We got an angel wing. There you go. And then I believe the baseline is doing like this. So he basically just gather the back like so into a dress so we're pretty much close to done we just have to do the skirt let me just tuck this in so you can actually see it This side seems to have more volume. And we're just gonna tuck the bus in like we did the other side. Like so. And then just glue it in. I think we've got, oh, 
I think I made a mistake. It's supposed to stand the other way. But anyway. So now we're gonna do a skirt. So the skirt, it looked like a, the circular skirt. Just to layer with a lot of um, filling in between. So. We're gonna use the bubble gum. I believe I have these. Ta-da! So, one more bubble. Cheer. And gonna wrap this up. Around. Like so. I'm gonna start the front. In and just apply right onto it, make a pleat in apply some more. Make another pleat. So we kind of short up material. And then what we do is we're just gonna put another fabric on top of it. So this act has a crinoline on your dress. J1. Here. Hold it in. Basically, I'm going along the ways. So if you trade or do this at home, you just want to make sure you get the trade pattern uh, prepped for that. And it's quite easy to uh, along the waistline. another piece of fabric and I'm just gonna rip it up and this one is gonna look a little bit longer so I'm gonna do about I would say half a meter and I believe this is also add to the trail in the back so we make sure we know where exactly the front is. Oh, look at that. And okay, so this one has two pieces. And we're just gonna cut off this section here. So we're just gonna clear this up. And add a little bit more. Ooh. And oh, we go. go with the flow, I tell ya. Alright. Mm. So this will go on top, like so. So you want to make sure you find the center and that way we're going to start. So we're going to start at the center front. So we're going to start a little bit above the, the bubble wrap. So glue that down here. Keep a little generous with your glue. And I'm just going to apply right on top of it. Okay. 
because it, I believe if I look at the picture, it also has a band, so we're gonna apply a band afterwards. So all we want to do is just make sure we got the skirt down. Glue that in, and then we just glue this down along the edge. We doing exactly what we did with the bubble wrap. It's just uh, on top of it now. Then make sure it go all the way to the back, like so. So we do check the edge, as you can see. And I'm running out of glue. So let me do this up quickly. Do a pleat, fold, and pleat. So if you were to sew this, you know you can just base stitches or you can just pin it. And then continue along the edge. All the way down. Like so. Alrighty. Now, I think it's pretty much similar. We just need to do either do another layer or not. But the most important thing is I want to add the trail in this. So the trail is actually quite easy. We're just gonna tuck this in so make it look like a wings and just to hide the the bubble wrap for now. Right? So we glue the with each other. So this is the original piece which included a diagonally. That basically that's all we're doing. Right? And then I believe it go all the way like so. So it's similar to what we did before with the other show. So I'm just gonna take another piece of fabric. Like so and rip it up. And we're gonna cut this off, and I think we're pretty much finished. Add another trail in the back here. So I'm gonna take the wing off. So you see, this is the finish of the skirt. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just add another piece here, and then just glue this along right across it. So I'm gonna start from the top. So you're gonna pin it down here and as you can see I'm gonna take the edge at the bottom piece glue this along here for finishing up the edge of the waist pieces so I'm gonna do that I'm just gonna glue the edge of the edge together myself 
Oh my, good thing we finished. Cause this is my last piece of glue gun. This size, and I'm gonna have to glue. So here, as you can see, take the edge, glue this right on the edge, the finished hem together. And then we're just gonna finish up the top here and glue it down. So make sure your butt doesn't show. And then we take the wing down. I think the wing. So this wing can be all the way down to the floor, but it's not practical. And we have this here. There you go. And now I'm just gonna take a piece of fabric and do a knot. So tie it on the belt and then we finish. I need a drink before we finish. So it's just a piece of fabric, it's about 20 centimeters, so about 4 inches. So you're gonna tie it around the waist. I'm gonna do it twice. It's quite long. And the second time, tuck that in. Tighten it up. Tie it in the back. So, it's a little of extra that it didn't have on the dress to be added on. And voila, we got Capri B Angel Dress. So, what do you think? Does it look like the original? This, well, of course not, because this should be to layer and it's more flowy. But I think it's kind of very cool. So, so, if you want to make this for your graduation, go ahead and do so. So, I'm going to tell you about the wine. So, this is, I need another refill. As I say, is, um, so the price is $9, $10 in the LCBO in Toronto mm -hmm. and is from Italy and specifically this point uh, this wine is actually from Sicily and the tasting notes have um, where the taste note Ro um, deep red velvet color so it does have a deep velvety color dark fruit and spike aroma and flavor I'm not sure what the dark fruit means, but this does taste a little berry, 
uh, you can taste the berry in here and it I wouldn't call it dry because of the high sugar content so it's a little bit moist um, it's a full body wine for sure and it have a really smooth finish so and here you go so I hope you enjoy the show and turn in next week and if you like to watch this again you can either save it and share it on your page or go to my website by Wednesday I would have everything edited down and you can see a clearer version of this so that's it see you next week thank you for tuning in have a good day good night